just visible over the horizon, and it is. All right, so this is obviously the biome we want to be in with this blue ground. We've already got two crashed satellites here. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to Astroneer Episode 6. It is time to get on the way and discover new high-tech research somewhere on the horizon. Ooh, and hopefully not fall in a large crater that we made mining resources right next to our base. Good night. We need to get away from the mountains a little bit. We could go the complete opposite direction, but I think instead we're going to follow the galactic band. Which is just the row of stars, what would be, you know, the Milky Way in the sky. We'll just stick with that. And then we can follow it back the other direction to return. We'll just try to go in a straight line and get some distance here. Cave system. Hmm. We're going to have to deviate for that. Right, you gotta be careful going down in the little ravines. You never know when you're gonna satellite wreckage. You never know when you're gonna have trouble getting back out. Is the rest of that sentence? Let's look for research. Or something of value in here, maybe. Sometimes they like to do that. Oh, there's some lithium. Okay, that's not all that bad. Some aluminum. To get out completely. Yep, doesn't look like. Doesn't look like any research. More lithium, copper, more aluminum. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer. Good resources, though. Not the end of the world. You can build a lot with that. Another busted piece of a solar panel. Cannot be researched, though, unfortunately. So that would be the opening on the other side. Right. So that's pretty much it. Alright, so at the satellite, you can see the base marker if you look towards the galactic band where the moon rises. That's good. More satellite wreckage. Indeed. We're bound to get lucky on one of these. He said, hoping for a bit of a break. Oh, we've got a front seat. That's kind of neat. That would have been helpful to find prior to having to research this one. But it doesn't really do us a lot of good now. I don't see a point to bring it with us either. I don't really need to bring the aluminum either, but let's see if there's anything hanging out inside here. Bit stingy with the high tech research. It does seem that way, doesn't it? Let's search the surrounding area. More bits and pieces. Hmm. Okay, and we can see the other satellite wreck from here. Which means that our base icon, right, should be just visible over the horizon, and it is. Alright, so this is obviously the biome we want to be in with this blue ground. We've already got two crashed satellites here. Hopefully that trend will continue. Let's go up here and see what we can see from up top. Another crashed satellite. Space station wreckage. Some sort of debris. That much I know certain. Oh, hold on. There's there's a good many pieces laying around here. No, maybe not. This thing. Look at this. See, and like some of this stuff you can, you can drag around, but I don't think you can do stuff with all of it. I don't even know what you would say. 
What I would like to see is be able to drag the stuff back and put a space station into orbit with it. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Dial the camera in, please. A little bit. Right through here. There we go. Well, absolutely, we're going to try to get more lithium. More copper. Oop, oop, put the camera back. I don't even think we have the room for all of that. Copper, aluminum. I could fit... could fit a copper there if I queue up a work light. Well, three satellite wreckage in a short amount of time is actually pretty good. Not seeing any research associated with them, however. That's sort of a bust. Let's try to look in the other side. Yeah, because unless we dig this whole thing out, we're not really going to know. It's like another seat. Resources on one side. Oh, oh, give me the camera back. No. Give me the camera back. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Resources in a chair. Keep the change, you filthy animal. All right, well then, let's, uh, I guess we're going to continue. Three satellites has renewed my, my hope that we're going to find some. Should have brought some medium storage. That's okay. If I would have brought medium storage, I would have found three really great research and would have been, well, I would have, that would have been an easy decision. I would have just left the storage behind because it's compound and easily replaceable. So yeah, I guess... What is this? I don't believe this is a plant I've seen before. Which means I should stay away from it. What happens if I dig it up? Interesting. Yeah, look at these. Look at this. What? Unusual. I guess that's what happens when you don't spend a ton of time exploring the Terran planet. Some of the biomes will sneak in under your radar. So from here, from here we cannot see our base, which means from here we need a beacon. And I did not bring any compound, and I know we drove past some. No, so we came, yeah, we would have come from, from up the hill. I can I can remember that. Because if we follow the hill back, we'll see the satellite, then we'll see the other one. Research on the trees. We might grab some of that. Whoa, whoa. Cave. Ooh, there's a close approach again. That one, that one was mediocre, I think. Maybe not, no. Come to think of it, none of these were really anything I cared about. Alright, so we'll cut around this side. And hopefully we get up here, we'll see a satellite wreck somewhere. Maybe, once we get up to the high ground. It's a pretty deep cave. Looks like it goes down, down both levels, too. Interesting. Whoa, whoa, we're struggling. Oh, <laughs> not the time to run out of a battery. Okay, so that's back the way we want to go. Another piece of a satellite. That's one of the giant solar panels. All right. I think that's... We'll head over there. Oh, yep, look, there's more satellite wreckage between here and there. That's good. That's good. Proves our odds. Oh, hot dog. I see one. I see one. Right here. Boom. Unknown research of the high-tech variety. Very good. Okay. That will be very helpful. Let's see if there's anything else we can see here. It doesn't look like it.
Oh, look, there's this, another satellite wreck over there. I don't think we checked out that one either. And then we've got this one up top. Oh, this might be good. So this is where all the satellite wrecks are. Over here in this section of the planet. Okay, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Okay, well, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to help you find a little bit of power. Because one of the beautiful things about being on the Terran planet is power is never in short supply if you're willing to dig up some plants. Maybe if we go this way. How about if we just go back down? Would you be happy with that? How would that work? All right, you just hang tight. Easier to walk than it is to drag drag two rovers up there. That's fine. Oh, wow, look at this, this neat little mountain here. This is pretty neat. Okay, let's check out this solar panel wreckage. Right on the side of the mountain here. I think we're going to dig it out. Just for funsies. Nope, oh, nope, over here, this side, over there. What is holding you in place, I wonder? Oh, it's it's other half wedged way down into the rock. Yep, there it goes. Whoa, look out! Look at the sun hitting it. Oh, that's really cool. When the sun lights it up, you can see its bars it start going crazy. It's actually able to be used. Okay. Sort of nothing here. Let's try to travel back down safely. Safely. Very good. Alright, so then we'll head back and we'll hit this other satellite wreckage on the way back and we'll at least come back with one, maybe two, maybe if we're lucky. I'm not trying to be greedy. Oh, there is some compound. Eh, I think we'll be alright. I have sort of pretty good SA on where we are. I think I know where we are. I'm gonna stick with that. Alright, let's see. What do we have? Interior, copper, aluminum. Again, the more copper and aluminum you find in the early part of the game, the better life is. Oh, double titanium, you don't say. Well, I think we'll take those. So finding satellite wreckage is really great in the beginning part of the game, but the satellite research is the biggest benefit. And the sooner in the game you can get your hands on some of that stuff, the lithium, the titanium, the satellite research, the easier your early game is going to be. But mid-game, it's still pretty valuable. I wouldn't say we're at mid-game yet, but approaching there. It's still really valuable to get your research. Yeah, nothing. A lot of nothing. Okay, so we got one satellite research at least. Really thought we would have seen more, but that's okay. Let's Let's get this back. And if we see any satellites along the way, we can always stop and grab them. I'm almost positive we need to cut back in this direction to go where we're going. So I don't want to go a completely new direction, and, well, no, maybe we should. Maybe we'll go this way. We'll follow the opposite side of the mountain, see if we see any satellite wreckage, and then we'll just follow the mountain around to the left, and we should be able to... Oh, would you look at that? Satellite wreckage in the side of a mountain. Okay, that's that's good for me. Let's check it out. Again, the research is usually just scattered into the ground around it. Sometimes it's attached to it. See a chair. Yep. An open one seat. I think 
that's going to be all we get out of this one, though. Okay, fair enough. We're not taking the open one seat. Um, not able to drive. Can we try again. How bizarre. Let's try this. Right? Hmm. Okay. Then let's try driving it while we're unattached. And no, this one has just got a serious problem. So we'll just unattach the chair. Maybe it wants the new chair. Let's try that. Aha, the, the new new chair. Beautiful. Yep. Sometimes you just have to do what makes your rover happy. And sometimes that involves grabbing another chair. It's like, but that, that chair is untouched. Sat preserved in the, in the earth. Why can't we use that one? And there's the marker, just like I thought. So it's off to our left. And we have satellite wreckage over here. Oh, this is a solar panel. I think we've been out in this direction, actually. This seems like an area we came to once upon a time. Hmm. So I'm going to follow this, this sort of dark blue biome in this direction. Let's see if we can find any more satellite wreckage before we turn in. Look, there is another one over there. Ooh, look at those caves going into the mountain. That's kind of neat. Here we go, past all this resin and these rocks. Oh, every rock matters. It's such a big deal to hit every single one of them. You don't get a, you don't really get a pass on any of them. Not until you get the next size rover. Then that's a different story. Oh, oh, the camera. Nope. Uh, let's see. Lithium, maybe? Nope. Uh, it's copper and aluminum. Oh, there's some lithium. Well, I think we're going to take those. Well, yeah, but it's more valuable than copper and aluminum. I mean, you can't... Yeah, you can't compare those two. It's a no-brainer. Nothing here. Get a little more organic because we're going to need to drive back while it's dark out. Yes, dig over there, point there. Could uncover this whole thing. Let's see if there's any research attached to it because some of these actually have research kind of stuck on the little tabs and pods on the sides of them. More and more resources. Yeah. This is where having a modded... A modded terrain tool can come in handy, but the con is that you, you'd have to provide constant power to it to use it. And then it would revert, which means every time you would walk back over to your vehicle, you would start vampire siphoning power out of it to recharge your battery. Which I guess that's what the organic's for. You could easily harvest organic. Alright, this is it. We're turning back around. Unless I see a satellite right now. Alright. That's it. We're going to have to bring back some research. So let's see what we can find on the way back. Because we'll need to hit up, hit up some level of research. That was kind of neat, like a cave way up there. Uh, actually, no. Let's go back. Let's drop off our materials. And check on the research. And then we can always come back out to get more if we really need to. We've done almost a, a circle around our, our initial base at this point. I Oh, no. Boom. That happened. 
Okay. Well, flipping the vehicle over is the easy part. It's getting back that can be tricky. Let's see how this works. Not too bad. Not too bad. Looks a little steep. And it very well might be. Oh, I don't care. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. So close. So close. Drive. Drive. Oh, okay. We're going to have to jump out and soften this landing a little bit. And then jump back in. Here we go. Drive. You could do it. You could totally do it. Yes, we did it. Excellent. Look at all that compound. So much compound and resin. When you need it. See, and that is that is the main benefit of the Terran base, is you can pretty much exist anywhere. You can easily end up going to a different a different planet where you make a base there and if you didn't bring the resin or you didn't bring the compound you can kind of kinda of get hosed and you have to have to leave. Alright, let's go ahead and say that this research right here is going to immediately go up. And look at that, we ran out of research. This thing is going to give us 7,000 bytes over an hour, but that's, yeah. That's still 122 bytes a minute for an hour. So if at any time you're able to get the satellite research, you can pretty much just not have to worry about coming back at all for quite some time. I think we're going to mess with the dynamite, just to get it out of here. Because it's, it's just taking up all this space. Oh, look at all this lithium. Uh, I don't want to use the lithium yet, though. Um, not for what it's good for. Because really, we could start making batteries, but that's going to be that much more research that we have to mess with. And instead, you know what we'll do? We'll take this dynamite all the way down, and we'll just we'll just see what kind of crater we can get. Here, let's drop off our uh, our soil. So the other neat thing about having the storage on your mineral extractor is that it'll process your soil canisters and just drop them off for you. Yep. So that way you don't have to worry about it. And let's see. No more dynamite. I don't see any more dynamite. All right. Let's let's head down. All the way. And then we'll just see what kind of crater we can make right over here. This looks like a good spot. Alright, let's see. How, how many dynamite do we have? One, two, three, four, five, and six. That's right. Alright, let's see what, what kind of a... Oh, kind of a boom we get. Ooh. Yeah, so that was six. <laughs> it can, um... It can get dangerous. It can get dangerous. That's, that's with six of them. But as you can see, we've determined there's... There's really not another cave system nearby. And now we have that big treacherous crater to contend with. Dynamite can be a lot of fun. Um, eventually, we'll research the blueprint. You know, we'll mass produce it. We'll we'll see what kind of craters we can make. That could be really cool. For now, I just wanted to get it out of our inventory. It wasn't anything worth holding on to in any large numbers, not yet at least. So we'll just process it and move on. Uh, what I would like to do, though, is actually get this thruster out of here. And grab some resin. So the easiest way to do it would be well, one, two, three, four. Oh, we have four resin right there because we have our backup over here. Okay, good. Um, oh, 
I'm not getting the audio indicator for a storm, but a storm is here nonetheless. Okay, you can do it. You can make it. Huh. That's peculiar. Let's just check the audio real, real quick. Nope, everything's turned down really low. The game is actually actually a good bit loud. Um, but we're not getting any of the storm storm audio at all. Okay. Almost like we're still down in the cave, you know. I don't see any rocks either with this storm. The storm doesn't appear to be that bad. It's the silent storm. I'm tempted to get out in it, but then I know that's when I'm going to catch a rock. It's almost like it sounds like everything is like I'm still in the cave. It's all echoey and far away, except the, the menu pop. See, like that sound sounded normal. Interesting. It's interesting indeed. Oh, my vehicle! The storm rolled the vehicle. Separated it from its wheels. Oh, okay. We might need a good, we might need a good log out and log back in, just to try to get everything straight. So let's do that real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the habitat, and we're just gonna give everything a, a good relog. Okay. Hopefully our vehicle has been restored to realistic physics. Ah, it looks like it has. Its wheel has reconnected. Excellent. Great. Wonderful. Just what I was hoping for. Resin. Now let's let's get to the base expansion because the next thing we're gonna want here next to our vehicle base is actually a place for fuel. In fact, let's go ahead and research at this point. We're going to research the shuttle and the enclosed one seat. Excellent. Now here what we need is a... another thing that we're going to need to research, which I might not have the research for it now, but that's okay. We're going to look. Nope, that is not it. It's got to be here. We need the Hydrazine Catalyzer, and that is 3,000 bytes. That'll be the next target, which uh, that's what we'll do with that. So we can go ahead and drop this resin off just anywhere, I suppose, for now. And most importantly, what we need to do is we need to get more research going. We only have one research station going right now, and that one's going to go for a very long time. Fortunately, we're sort of at the end of the episode. Let me see if I can get some research down here really fast. Even some 10 minute research. I feel like we combed the bottom pretty good, but the top has a lot of unchecked little areas and yeah, these plants can harbor secrets and uh, it's better than nothing, I suppose. I was hoping for a green one. We are going to need some of this ammonia. Oh, look at that. Here's some interesting research. Oh, yes. Very good. Very good. So we can bring this one back with us. We'll at least have two of them going, and then we can start to assemble the shuttle, which we should have more than enough parts for, and get even closer to stepping off the base for the first time. It'll be a lot of fun. I really that I, I think the game really changes its dynamic and opens up once you're no longer bound to the planet you start on. And so for me that's always my focus. Because you can always come back. You can always decide that you know I'm going to come back and do something on the Terran planet. Okay. So 2400 bytes. That's a very good one as well. Let's get some aluminum in here. And I think the easiest way to do that when you're doing stuff like this 
is to take your yep medium storage just like this that's got a little bit of your copper and a little bit of your aluminum and you just snap it onto the side and it'll put whatever it needs to put to do it um, but it's telling it it needs so it's three compound and one aluminum is what it's no two compound and one aluminum for a shuttle yeah interesting okay that uh, that has changed a little bit but I agree I mean there should be you should have to spend some of the more precious metals when you're making this sort of thing there we go shuttle is in place and we're out of power we can go ahead and take this opportunity it's time to what we'll put more compound here because I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the open seat is going or the the one enclosed seat is going to cost so we'll just put that back up there like that and we can go look for one more bit of research Prior to the episode being over, goodness, I hope we can get one as good as the one we just got. That would be really great. Could have brought the vehicle and... Oh, well, we are going to get a lot more of this ammonia, though. So we should be able to start messing with the ammonia next episode. And getting everything ready for our first trip out of the planet. I'm, I'm hoping to do it next episode. I think we'll be able to. I really do which is very exciting. All right, let's check research, anything. Nope, doesn't look like it. More ammonia. Can't argue with that. We will need a good bit of it. All right, that's probably good for now. Oh, that was a little close to that. That was a little close to that. Yep, see how the screen got red? If I was any closer, I would have been killed. They will uh, They will penalize you for not paying attention. They really will. And look at this. This is the area down below. That's nothing new. We've, we've been down there. Right, yep. You can see the energy crystals way over there. Just fine. We just need one... Just one little research. Ugh, that one. Really? We could go for it. Could dig up this one. See what's down there. Nothing. Or we go for this one. Nothing. Hmm. We're going to run out of oxygen soon. Probably best if we just grab this little cheap cheapy here and head back. Not a problem, though. Hopefully, by then, the sun will be up. We'll be able to build our enclosed one seat, and that's where we'll wrap up the episode. Working on the hydrazine catalyzer and the fuel will be the start of next episode. So I guess we'll start wrapping up. This has been Astroneer Episode 6. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching because, as always, I've had a good time playing. Please come back next time as we continue our path of becoming true Astroneers. And look at this. Already ready to build with the two aluminum. One enclosed seat. Step closer each and every time. But until next time, take care. <laughs>